call here. We're locked in. So now, guys, let's get to some men's basketball in the Olympics. As when we last left off last week, Team USA had played only their first game in the Olympics so far as they defeated Serbia by 26 points. Then they went and played against South Sudan, and uh, they won by 17 points. This is a, the same team that LeBron had to make the game-winning layup to. And they almost get. lost to. In exactly. The expedition, expedition, right? Yep, exactly. And so uh, they definitely locked in a lot more in this one, and um, they showed South Sudan a lot more respect. The 17-point differential at the end really was a lot closer than the game actually was because Team USA, they, they started to stretch it out in the second quarter, got it up to like 20, 30 points. They end up winning by 17. Then we see the game this past weekend as Team USA beat Puerto Rico 104 to 83, and that completed uh, the group stage. And now Team USA will play Brazil in the quarterfinals coming up tomorrow at 1230 Pacific time. So Cordell, as our guest, I'm going to start things off with you. Uh, just what have you thought of Team USA men in the Olympics thus far, including the game against Serbia, but primarily primarily over these last two games? Um, that Joel Embiid doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah. Like at all. Um, I haven't watched much of it. I've been just keeping up with the stats. Like Jason Tatum looks I here and there he's not making a lot of those shots but other than that, i haven't really watched much i've been just keeping up with the score so i don't know much about the i haven't watched enough of it yeah that's that's totally understandable um and with the olympics it's like we all expect them to win and yeah. so it's like for me I didn't even really watch the exhibition games at all just because I was thinking to myself, I was like, and I probably should have because those exhibition games were a lot closer than these Olympics have been thus far. Uh, but I was just thinking to myself, I was like, they're going to dominate. This is a game that doesn't even count. Like I wasn't that interested, but I have been since uh, these Olympics have officially started. Uh, basketball is pretty much the main thing that I've been watching between the men's and the women's. I've watched a little bit of volleyball here or there. I've only seen highlights of like gymnastics, uh, but Javon, how about you over these last two games, uh, seeing team USA take care of business against not only uh, South Sudan, but also against Puerto Rico. Um, so the first game they were favored by 13 and a half. Uh, we covered on that. Uh, you know, I like to bring the gambling aspect of everything because, you know, we like to win money on the side. Um yeah. I think as far as the Puerto Rico game, um, they were favored by 33 and a half points. I was like, that's just way too much. That's just too many points. Um, for, I don't care what team it is. I mean, I mean, even when they played South Sudan um, in the exhibition game where LeBron scored the game winning layup, they were favored by like 30, like 40 points. So it, it kind of gets tricky because like I get like the dream team was winning by like 60 points in every game that they played in, but they played only nine NBA players in total. The U.S. is playing however many times they play like 60. There's 60 NBA players they played um, since the Olympic stars, probably even more now. But um, I mean, the team USA, I saw a quote from Charles Barkley saying if <laughs> if USA doesn't win the gold, they, they're not let back into the United States. So I saw that um, too. pretty, pretty favored for, you know, the United States, I mean, they have guys coming every which way from all pro to, you know, or all NBA, the all NBA here, you know, Max guy here, Max guy there. A um, couple of guys wouldn't let me live down last week. I said Derek White indirectly um, was a Max player, um, even though he's not technically a Drew Holiday, not a Max player. Um, wasn't my words were taken from me and they were clip baited. So, um but, I mean, these guys, it's going to be tough to beat them um, from any team. I mean, the the team I feel like has the best chance to try and beat USA is Canada. But, I mean, they beat Canada by like 20 points. So, it's like you're kind of playing. What are you really comparing this team to? Um, are they the greatest team ever assembled? I wouldn't go as far as saying that. But I do think they have a damn good roster. Like, they have LeBron, they have Steph. KD like this steps for a time ever playing in the U.S. or in the Olympics, which is insane to say, based off the career that he's had. Um, I mean, you have Jason Tatum; he's 
you know, he didn't play in a game and he w- just won a championship. And then you got guys like Joel Embiid who, you know, don't play in a game and he just won the MVP two years ago. So it's like you it's very hard to kind of get in where you fit in on this team because you got guys like LeBron on the team. You got KD coming off the bench. So Anthony, like, Edwards, Anthony Edwards, Edwards is coming off the bench. You got Devin Booker on the team. Like these are literally the top players in the NBA that are on the same team. So, um, you know, you kind of, I guess you could say you feel for Steve Kerr, but at the same time you, you have an embarrassment of riches on this team. And it's, it's fun to watch them because it's like, we're never ever going to see these guys play on the same team again, because this is probably Katie's last Olympics. This is definitely LeBron's last Olympic. And this is probably Stephen Curry's first and last Olympics. Um, and these are, you know, the top guys pretty much of the whole 2010s like the last decade, and they're all on the same team together. And you got guys like Joel Embiid and the Tatum, like a bunch of these other guys that are kind of the next up guys, you know, to kind of pass the torch on, pass the torch over. And Anthony Edwards, like we kind of saw him in, uh, in these last playoffs, people thought he was going to be the next – Mike. people were comparing him to Michael Jordan. <laughs> so it's like – yeah. W- w- it's it's very it's very fascinating to watch all of these guys on the same team because they're all the guy on their team, you know, with the exception of Drew Holiday and Devin uh or um Derek White. Wow. Not Devin Booker, I, um White. White. Derek White. Wow, there we go. Don't know why I just blanked out on his name, but you you team, just bro. forgot about him because you could only think about all the Max players. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like I don't really see this team losing to anybody. I don't think anybody else does too, because you know, once you know, we start hitting group play, as people like to say, it's going to be tough. They're going to be a tough out, whether or not. And Sean, do you know who they play next? No idea. Yeah, they play uh, Brazil tomorrow right. at uh, twelve thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Good luck to Brazil. I don't know who <laughs> who's on, on the Brazil? Brazil. Yeah, who's on the Brazilian team? I don't know anybody. Let's take a look. Let's take let's, a gander at the Brazil a- roster, and then we'll name off the USA roster. We'll compare and contrast. <laughs> let's see. Team Brazil basketball. Oh, oh, hey, all right. I see some names I know. Okay. Uh, not, not, none, are, none are significant, but I see some names that I know. Uh, so starting out, they got Bruno Caboclo, who – I know that name. Briefly, very briefly. Was, was with the Sacramento Kings. King. Yeah, sure. former Toronto Raptor. Uh, so Bruno Caboclo is on this team. Um, they also have uh, Marcelo Huertas, who if you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. remember, he used to be on the Lakers. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had that curly hair. Um, yeah. So Marcelo Huertas is on, is on uh, Brazil. That's pretty much it for the names that I recognize. Uh, yeah, because so the entire roster is Bruno Caboclo, Marcelo Huertas. Those are the two that I recognize. Then we got Yago Santos, Guay Santos, Raul Neto. Uh, Raul Neto used to – was uh, briefly – I don't know. I don't think he's in the NBA anymore, but he was. Yeah, I, I thought I could have sworn that I, I recognized that name too, but I started thinking to myself, I was like, is that a soccer player I'm thinking of? Okay, so thank you for confirming that, Cordo. So Raul Neto, okay, so that's three that we at least recognize. Um, Cristiano Felicio, I'm pretty sure he had some – time in the nba as well that that name looks pretty familiar um and then leonardo mindel lucas diaz vitor alves benit uh Jorginho de paula and didi lozada so four names that we that we recognize on team brazil i mean good for them i guess but they don't they don't stand a damn chance no they don't so um usa is favored by 27 points tomorrow and they are they minus uh they're minus a hundred thousand to win. Jeez. So, Jesus that'll Christ. Be, uh, if my zeros are correct, let's see. Hundred that's hundred thousand, ten thousand. Yeah, they're minus a hundred thousand <laughs> to win tomorrow. That's, that's absolutely nuts. So nuts. Um I mean so- uh, based off of the names, I mean I feel like they should blow them out. Oh, yeah, 100%. They, if we're going name will. for name here, if we're going a name by name basis. This is <laughs> should be a cakewalk tomorrow. Should be. Yeah. Said so, that about South Sudan. That's the quarterfinals 
that's tomorrow. Then we got the semifinals and the actual final. So I think by the time that we have next week's episode, this should be wrapped up. I would assume that they're going to wrap it up this weekend. That was pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's like every other day they play, they've been playing or like have two day rest. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so it'll all be wrapped up by next week. And with that, I just want to ask simply, guys, uh, Cordell, starting out with you, does Team USA win the gold? Yes or no? Yeah. Javon, yes or no? Pretty easily. Mm, easily. I say yes. I, I don't know. say easily. Canada's going to put up a fight. Canada and France. Those are the two yeah. that I'm like, all right. They play tomorrow. Canada. Canada and France play tomorrow. Exactly. So whoever advances from there, that's who I'm worried about. That's the one, What the whatever, whoever the surviving team is, because now we're in the knockout round. So whoever survives that matchup, that's the only team I'm still concerned about in the Olympics. Do I think Team USA wins the gold? Yes. But I won't go as far to say easily just because of whoever remains between those two is likely who Team USA will see in the gold medal game. Um, and so I say yes. That's unanimous. I think we could even add Kevin, even Gary. Yes. The answer is yes. We all believe that Team USA is going to win the gold. That's for the men, though. 